paper looks at the how we translate the principles and the standards in the ILO's new convention, Convention C-190, which is the Violence and Harassment Convention, into policy and into practice. So, um, and the convention proposes doing that through what's called an inclusive, integrated and gender responsive approach to handling violence and harassment in the world of work. So my paper is part of a bigger research project that I'm undertaking, which is looking at new regulatory approaches to try and prevent gender-based violence in the workplace. So pre preparing my paper was kind of a reminder, it was more than a surprise, it was a reminder of just how useful uh, standards, normative standards like the ILO's conventions are in uh, helping you to inform uh, new approaches to regulation um, in it controversial, current controversial controversial areas like sexual harassment in the workplace. So I was reminded about how useful those conventions can be. And then what I have done with the convention is I've looked at how could uh, we develop a tool to help people to understand the principles and the underpinning framework of the convention and how you would apply that into practice. So the paper that I'm presenting explores this tool that I've created, which is called the Integrated, Inclusive Integrated and Gen a responsive plus tool which is designed to help policymakers and um, workplace actors to understand um, how they could analyze proposals for reform on things like regulating to prevent sexual harassment in the workplace. <laughs> 